I'm Christine Bellingham, and I'm here today with Dr. Julian Samuels. She's a board-certified cosmetic surgeon out in Norton Commons. She's also our partner on Monday Makeovers, but she's here today to talk about a very important topic with us, women's breast health. Dr. Samuels, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I know as a woman and a surgeon, you have very unique perspectives on women's breast health, especially when it's uh, uh, talking about surgery mm -hmm. or implants. Right. What would you like women to know today? I'd like women to know that we have gone through a complete evolution of breast implant um, health and safety and multiple studies on these devices. The devices that I'm holding now are silicone gel that is very different than the old liquid silicone gel devices, which we stopped using in 1992. So the new gel devices have had exhaustive clinical trials, randomized prospective clinical trials of thousands, hundreds of thousands of women. So today's implants have a gel that is very uh, safe over time, low revision rates due to rupture or hardening of implants. So. Today's patients have a lot of choices. This is a round high profile device. This is a teardrop shaped uh, device. And so in a consultation with the woman, we go over the history of silicone gel uh, safety, what we know about it now, what we're still studying to make sure that they're informed and they have great choices. And they even have warranties with these great choices. That's how strongly right. the companies can feel about backing up their products. Right. So the warranties with the three brand name manufacturers really reassure women that they will have help if they have a rupture, if they have any capsular issues. And this is a lifetime, 10 to 20 to lifetime year warranty for different things. So I think we're able to make feel, women feel very comfortable about their choices. And today, 400,000 women have implants a year, 75% for cosmetic purposes and 25% for reconstruction. And one of those women happens to be sitting here with us today. It's your patient, Emily. Um, Emily, thank you for being here to share your story. Absolutely. Now, you decided that you wanted um, to seek augmentation. Yes. And you came to talk to Dr. Samuels. Yes. What did you learn when you came in to speak with her about what you were looking for? Upon the appointment, you have your consultation first, and I just, you know, told her what I was looking for and listened to everything she had to say because I just think the world over and trust her completely and I uh, just went from there um, she gave me all the information I needed the safety information told me the difference between the implants and which one she thought would work best for me and my body and I've just been thrilled with the result and I know that your uh, relationship with Dr. Samuels doesn't just end with the surgery. No. She follows no. up with you. What has that been like in, in, the, in the years since her augmentation? It's been great. She watches you closely after surgery. You're in fairly frequently, and then you get to once a year, and she gives information that comes out if anything has come out about the implant. She does my examination, a thorough examination. I just have been completely at ease the whole time. Well, that's wonderful. I'm so glad that you made this change. It was a positive one yes. in your life and that um, you were able to get such great advice and insights from Dr. Samuels. So Dr. Samuels, not all of your patients come here for augmentations. Many, all, many come for reductions. Right. So patients who require lifts and reductions usually have given this a lot of thought for lots of reasons and our patient Shannon can tell us, but it turns out to be both functional and cosmetic reasons. Uh, that they do this, and so we're happy to um, introduce Shannon as one of our breast reduction patients, and she did her surgery here in our Norton Commons Quad A credentialed surgery facility. So she got to experience, she was a good candidate for that. She was very healthy, and, um, and I think she had a good experience. I had a wonderful experience. It was extremely thorough. The staff didn't leave anything unknown for me, and um, it, it, from the moment I walked in, um, I was treated with care and compassion, and it felt as if I was in a hospital OR. Now, Shannon, I believe this was your second reduction surgery? It was. Can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to come back and see Dr. Samuels Absolutely. for your second yes. surgery? Uh, well, 24 years ago, um, I decided to have it done, and um, they were just so restrictive, and I was so young, and just trying to hide yourself all the time. Um, so I had that, and then, you know, that many years passed by. I am now 50 years old. I've had additional children, 
and you know things happen and they came back with a vengeance and uh, again I, I look at my age and and my activity level that I would want to continue but the heaviness and restrictiveness is just it was too much it was too much and yeah. now here you are just eight days out from your surgery you're already up and dressed you look beautiful you're obviously very happy with this result you're so kind thank you um yes eight days and um and now don't fool yourself i still have bandages and i still have my surgical bra on and i'm sure there's a little bit of swelling still but I did exactly what the doctor has instructed me to do because, as again, I'm an older patient, so I know I have to be extra careful. Well, it's great to see that you had such a fantastic result and that women have so many safe options today. Julian, thank you so much for filling us in on breast health for women and the safe options we have um, with surgery. You're welcome. It's Thank really you important. Thank you. Thanks again to Dr. Samuels. This is Christine Fellingham for Great Day Live.